Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. I'd like to welcome you to Wednesday, the 21st of August, 2024. Our topic today on the Seeds of Destiny is love is not easily provoked. The Bible says, charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemingly. Seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, and thinketh no evil. 1 Corinthians Chapter 13, verse 4 and 5. Thought for the day, it is better to be at peace than to be under pressure. You will never realize the treasures of life if you maintain a life under pressure. It has been confirmed that love is of God and God is love. 1 John 4, 8. Love is a powerful force of earth on earth and love is God. And God is powerful. This means when you walk in love, you walk in the power of God. Now, one character of love that is that love is not easily provoked. And when we say love is not easily provoked, what do we mean? We mean, number one, that love is not irritable. It is not touchy. There are people who are highly irritable or very touchy. These are the kinds of people that everyone avoids. If you tell them good morning, it's a problem. If you don't say good morning, it's a problem. Eh? It is also a challenge. They are easily provoked, but love is not easily provoked. Number two, love is not offended. There are people who are permanently offense ready. They are offenses personified, looking for where to happen, but love is not easily offended. There are people in church who, when the ushers ask them to sit in a particular place, they tell the ushers, who are you to tell me where to sit? They are offense ready, but love is not easily offended. Number three, love is not quarrelsome. It's not quarrel ready. There are also people who are quarrel personified or quarrel emotion. When you see them walking, you can call them mobile quarrel. Such people quarrel with everyone. They quarrel with their parents, they quarrel with their siblings, they quarrel with friends, they quarrel with colleagues, they quarrel with their bosses, they quarrel with enemies, everybody. You cannot find them under uh, at peace with anybody. They are always under pressure. And such people will never realize the treasures of life if you maintain a life that is under pressure. God's servant and myself made up our minds as we were getting married that there must be peace in our life and peace in our home. We made up my, our minds that nobody will ever ask us in marriage who offended who and then they are sitting down to settle quarrel. And God has helped us for more than 30 years of marriage. Our counsel is make up your mind to love. Let the love of God in your heart neutralize every spirit of anger and provocation. Remember this, it's better to be at peace than to be under pressure. You will never realize the treasures of life if you maintain a life that is under pressure. What's our assignment today? Number one, refuse to be easily provoked. Secondly, ask God for the grace to put your anger under control. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say, Lord, thank you for your word to me today. Let your love reign in my heart. I receive the grace never to succumb to the temptation of provocation. O oh Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My prayer for you today is that the Lord will help you to live a life at peace with man, peace with God, and all-round peace. Before you can really enjoy that kind of peace, you have to be born again. Jesus has to be the Lord of your life and you want to receive him as the Lord of your life, simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner, I need your help. Please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, Lord. In Jesus' name, 
Amen. God bless you. Have yourself a wonderful day. But you see, it's somebody's birthday today. And I want to wish that special somebody a happy birthday today. As your days are, so shall your strength be. God cause his face to shine on you and be gracious unto you. In Jesus' name, happy birthday to you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.